Hello and welcome to the Weather Hazard Briefing for Southeast Idaho as presented by National Weather Service Pocatello for Tuesday, April 19th. This is what you'll see in this presentation. A winter storm will move in during the morning hours today. We are looking at light snow above about 6,200 feet elevation in the central Idaho mountains and about 6,000 foot elevation in the upper Snake Highlands from this. Uh, but otherwise it'll be rain and it'll also be windy conditions in the Snake River Plain in eastern Magic Valley. And the rain there will be mostly occurring during the morning hours and then tapering off for the afternoon. A second storm arrives late Wednesday night, continues through Thursday, and then a third storm arrives very quickly right behind this for Friday. So it'll be nearly continuous uh, periods of rain uh, over that two and a half day period. Expect snow levels to start high on Thursday as we're on the warm side of the low and that keeps snow mounts light and fairly high. It'll be breezy to windy again and then thunderstorms are possible in the central afternoon mountains for both Thursday and Friday afternoon. So here's the satellite image. You can see the clearing line behind, the f uh, behind this front is actually already in central Oregon. You can see lots of clouds over especially western Idaho and seeing them watch them spread eastward into our region. So uh, we have slight chances of rain in the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley with windy conditions and windy would mean 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts upwards of 40 to 45 miles an hour somewhere in there. So pretty windy day for us. And that includes the South Hills as well, although there we will have some afternoon uh, or some morning rain and snow. And then in the afternoon, it should switch to uh, afternoon rain. And then in the Southeast Highlands and Eastern Highlands, you can see it takes a while for it to get to the Southeast Highlands. And it won't be until afternoon. And it'll be snow above 5,500 feet below that. Uh, expect it to be rain and uh, fairly likely that they're going to get it this afternoon and then it's pretty much categorical of an excess of 80 percent chance uh, the eastern highlands will get some snow you can see there above about 6,000 feet and then in the lost river uh, or in the central Idaho mountains it's snow everywhere it's windy on the ridges uh, and just because in Lemhi county you do have elevations below 4,000 feet that area will be probably all rain today but Otherwise, if you're outside of the salmon area, it uh, should be rain and snow changing to all snow. And then on Wednesday, we do have mostly a break with the exception of the southeast and eastern highlands. There is a slight chance that the snow will actually continue all day, um, but just a slight chance. Uh, everywhere else, it's late uh, late night development of snow, anywhere from chance to light uh, to categorical for the sawtooths. Uh, and you see the only area free really is the Snake River Plain, the Magic Valley, and the Southern Hills. Now on Thursday, uh, the snow spreads everywhere and rain. Uh, we are on the warm side uh, this time around, and so we're looking for some afternoon rain and snow, for instance, for the South Hills. But it will start out rain, uh, very warm. Uh, in the eastern highlands, though, uh, we, we will see snow as low as 5,500 feet, uh, Lost River 6,000, Wood River area 5,800 feet, and Lemley County 5,600 feet, and then the Sawtooth area, it basically go down to the valley floor since uh, the lowest elevation in that area is 6,000. Um, so, all, again, likely snow above that below that elevation it'll be likely rain if it does say snow likely and then in friday uh the cold front will actually move through during the day we will get uh significantly colder uh, however we are still looking at it being rain in the snake river plain in eastern magic valley uh, possibly late friday night if any of the precipitation continues it could change over to snow um, Otherwise, though, rain is likely in the South Hills. In fact, all the mountains, it's likely, with the exception of the Wood River area, which is sort of in a precipitation shadow, and so it's not quite as good a chance um, as likely. So we're setting a chance of snow. And then you can see where the thunderstorms are um, in the Lost River area, Wood River, Sawtooth, and in Lemhi County. And then on Saturday, uh, 
we're looking at uh, slight chances to continue for a lot of locations uh, and chances. And again, it's rain and a snow mix uh, in, say, for instance, the Snake River Plain. And then morning rain in the Magic Valley. And then in the afternoon, they should be actually clearing out. Uh, and snow likely just in the southeast highlands. That's where it's going to linger. Everywhere else, it's just chance and slight chance of uh, basically snow. It'll be cold enough. All right, so let's look at the first three days in detail. Here's today. You can see the precipitation will develop everywhere, and it is a mix with low elevation rain, high elevation snow. And so here's the snowfall amounts for today. You can see it does limit itself to the mountains, and a lot of the uh, mountain areas are less than an inch. Uh, very limited areas uh, get to around an inch. It would be uh, Galena Summit into the Stanley Basin. Uh, then over, if, if you go farther north, into the Salmon uh, River Basin, you can see uh, some light snow there as well. And then over in the Island Park area, this will be later in the day. It won't be starting out that way. Uh, and you can see it does get, you know, four or five inches up right there at the summits. Um, and then over in Spencer, though, just one to two inches. So... Um, and the further south you go, the warmer it is, and so there's less snow, and um, it's at higher elevation. And then for tonight, as everything sort of tapers off, most of this will be falling during the evening hours, and then skies will be clearing, uh, especially after midnight tonight. And you can see, again, uh, only in the Stanley areas, or areas, I should say, west of Stanley in the mountains, is getting an inch or more. Uh, you can see that a little bit hanging on in the island mountains around surrounding M Island Park. And then here are the wind gusts for this afternoon. So this is in miles an hour, and you can see a lot of uh, basically around 33 to uh, some places in excess of uh, uh, you know, 36, 37 miles an hour gusts. Uh, and not only in the Snake River Plain in Eastern Magic Valley, but in up into the, even into the Island Park area, and then all the mountains in the Central Idaho Mountains on the ridges. Uh, they're getting pretty windy today. The temperatures for today, we had temperatures around 70 yesterday in the lower Snake River Plain in Eastern Magic Valley. You can see we're down 15 to 20 degrees there. Um, a little bit less, but still a pretty significant drop, even for our Idaho Falls and Rexburg. Uh, and even Stanley will struggle to get to into the 40s today. Uh, then overnight lows, the sky is clear late tonight. You can see temperatures uh, actually for most locations will be below freezing, exception of black, uh, you know, the heavily populated areas from Idaho Falls through Pocatello. American Falls, where it will be getting close to freezing, that's for sure. All right, here's Wednesday. You can see, once again, we're getting mixed precipitation. Uh, most of this, though, does occur at night, on Wednesday night. And so here they are, Wednesday night. So this would be uh, most of this falling starting in the late evening. Uh, and then beyond midnight is when you'll start to see this really accumulate. And you can see it's, uh, again, pretty light stuff for the most part, unless you're in the Stanley Basin, uh, Galena Summit area, and then into uh, the western part of the Lost River Range. So, and even there, it's only like one to four inches, so not very much accumulating, at least at first. Uh, and then Wednesday afternoon, you can see these are the gusts. For Wednesday afternoon, nowhere near as windy as the day before, but I would call it breezy. Uh, temperatures on Wednesday, they, they we will be under clearer skies. Uh, we do recover temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees. And then low temperatures, uh, because we're clouding over, very mild overnight lows. Also, will pr probably be breezy south wind, which will be bringing in warmer air. And so you can see now compared to the night before where most locations were below freezing. Now it's hard to find anybody who gets below freezing. So uh, lots of 40, 38 degree temperatures in the, especially the heavily populated areas. 
Okay, here is uh, Thursday's outlook. You can see, once again, mixed precipitation. That would be low elevation rain, high elevation snow. And you can see the warm front that will be through our area. And that's why we're getting, we're on the warm side of the low. This would be what we call the warm sector in here. This is where all the warm air is. The cold air is still out here at 8 a.m. It's still in Oregon. It will be crossing through, though, during the night on Friday night, or Thursday night, excuse me. So here's Thursday uh, where the snow will be. Uh, you can see it's fairly much limited to the central Idaho mountains and those higher elevations and where the coldest air is. You can see it's very mild temperatures down, uh, especially south of the Snake River. And then Thursday night, it starts to really taper off. Uh, and then, but like I said, by Friday, there'll be a, a, another storm coming in right on the heels of this storm. Uh, you can see it's a little bit windier for Thursday. This is in the afternoon. Uh, you can see once again we're getting gusts in excess of uh, you know, 30 to 35 miles an hour. And then high temperatures on Thursday sort of leveling off or going down a little bit with the clouds and the precipitation that develop. But again, it's really mild air coming up from the south. So in, in spite of that, we don't lose a whole lot of degrees temperature. It's, it's kind of a wash to maybe about three degrees cooler. And then uh, Thursday night, overnight lows, we're keeping the cloud cover. It's staying fairly mild, maybe a loss of one to five degrees. And then uh, this is the sort of the 48 hour snowfall amount. So from now through tomorrow, this is what we're looking at. So you can see it's mostly that the really heavy snow is way up in the mountains. Um, although Stanley's getting two to three in that 24 hour period, Island Park one to two. So not insignificant, the Teton Pass, one to two as well. And then for Thursday, Friday, this is the snow outlook. Uh, again, down in the populated areas and lower elevations, it mixes with a lot of rain. There's partial melting. So Stanley stays at one to two, uh, but solidly, uh, you know, two to seven inches or so likely in the mountains, uh, especially the further northwest you go. Uh, Island Park, though, down considerably. Again, pretty mild air for a lot of that, a good portion of Thursday and Thursday night. And that's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us at this telephone number here, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov slash Pocatello. Thanks for watching.